brothers. So we're out here at the Copart Yard. We're actually in Kentucky this time. Remember when we did all the flooded cars? That was basically in Pennsylvania. But recently there's a tornado that came through Kentucky. It was pretty crazy. We heard about it. So I'm gonna come check out all the red cars and the tornado. So this is all the catastrophic, I guess, section. And man, some of these cars look like they've been wrecked for sure. It's pretty insane but let's just go around see what's going on there's some cars playing today we definitely want to pick something up and hopefully get a good deal i mean let's just look around see what happened to some of these cars it's pretty insane there's definitely a lot of them so let's just go right at it and start finding the good ones hard to recognize but this is a 2019 Acura RDX and I mean I'm pretty sure there's been some crazy wind going on these things are hard to recognize wow dang no way look at that headlight what is that a knife in the headlight wow I mean you gotta think about it. stuff was flying everywhere this so crazy guys I mean wow that must have been some crazy tornado but the really good sign is they're taping everything up so I yeah, mean no no air proofing it so it's not water damage no airbags were deployed, so you know definitely nobody was driving this when this happened. Yeah, that's crazy. It must have been parked and then just stuff is going all around. I mean, there's damage everywhere. This thing, like, wow. maybe it got airborne. That's insane. I mean, look, look at this thing right behind it. What in the world? was like a giant boulder or what out there? Maybe like it was, you know, a tree or... I don't even know. Like, how does that happen? It's like a sunroof delete or something? Also, airbags did not deploy, so this probably didn't happen when it was driving. I mean, looks like, I don't know. I mean, that is. a house in there. There's shingles. That's insane, guys. I mean, I don't think this is something we want to fix or look at. Wow, it's a little, you know, it's possible. Anything's possible, but I don't know if we'll be able to salvage this one. We're trying to get some of these to save them from the scrapyard. Most of these are probably just from parts and never see the road again. But we'll find something. Wow, that's crazy. Hey guys, this is a 2009 Honda Accord, or what's left of it. I mean, this thing probably got airborne. This is insane. I don't even... I mean, like, who knows? Also, airbags didn't deploy, so it wasn't even driving. It was just in the area. Look at this other side. Wow. I mean, this thing must have rolled a couple times. And tree fell on it probably a massive tree all right guys so uh, we keep looking around i think we found uh, a truck in my play you know we got we found a 2016 f-150 limited or lariat it looks really nice this side i mean this is not bad damage you know you can replace the door a fender it's not bad the front glass a little bit of bondo on the roof I mean, so far, not too much, but it does have power inside. It only has 75,000 miles on it. And it starts right up. I mean, we can technically drive it home. Well, let's keep looking around and make sure this thing's okay. Yeah, let's check out the other side. The other side, I mean, not too bad. I mean, this, yeah, this needs to be fixed. The back glass broke. Oh, man. Oh, look at this bumper. How does, how does this happen? Oh, no. There's more. Wow. Man, the tornado go all around. Dang. Aluminum body. You mean. This side's actually missing the stuff already. No, no, it's still there. It's still there? It's still there. <laughs> it's, it just got, you know, like those... Uh, Delete. The, no, yeah. the ones that hide away. Yeah, yeah. That's like a permanent hideaway. Yeah. So, 
say keep, let's keep looking. I mean, it starts and everything, but... Wow, guys, these are pretty bad. Might have to get ourselves a bad one, Ivan. Big project. What is that? All right, I think somebody replaced this hood before, and this is probably like a, like a Kappa version or a Taiwan hood or an aftermarket. This the original crazy. hood would not peel like this, you know? So, so you think the wind guys peeled off? Maybe, maybe. That's insane. Oh look, it went through, it went through like a, a field. That's crazy. It wow. went plowing through the field, you know? And then, airborne. But check out this thing. This thing's nice. Okay, let's look for the damage. Somebody was eating birthday cake. Oh no. Yep. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna touch this one. That's Next. Oh man. See this limited. I don't I don't even know what it is. I know it's a Ford. I know it's an SUV. Explorer. This is an Explorer. Wow. From this from this tail light, or the shape of the tail light, I could I Wow, guys, that's insane. And no airbags deployed. This thing must have rolled so many times. I think this thing left flying. I mean, wow. It's decently okay compared to the rest of the car. But there's nothing. I mean, that's... that's Just insane to see the damage from a tornado. Wow. All right, guys. So I think we found a candidate that we might actually bid on. This damage isn't too bad. But honestly, it's hard to find vehicles with tornado damage that don't have bad damage because honestly, it's all around, all over damage. Doesn't look bad in pictures, but it's just hard to see all the dents and scratches. But this one doesn't look too bad. Let's check it out. So it looks like the hood has a little bit of damage that can be fixed or replaced. Nice. A couple scratches, not a big deal. Missing the GPS antenna or yeah, something. Or something like that. FX radio. The mirrors are good. I mean, that's that's rare. Have two good doors. Well, actually, the mirror isn't good. Okay, it has a crack in it. Well, it looks like the back glass is broken. Oh man, gas cap fell off. So I mean, that's that can be fixed. What about the roof? Is the roof good? The roof is looking good. Let's check out the tailgate. Ooh, man. It needs a, like a tailgate upgrade and a new tail light. But this is not bad damage. I mean, definitely it was in a tornado. Or, you know, storm. What is that stuff? Man, who knows? And then this side, wow, this side has more damage. But it's all fixable, you know? It's just a little bit of uh, dentless paint removal. <laughs> Might need a little more than that right there. Well, this one, probably not. This one just needs a heat gun and a glue gun and, uh, yeah. And then, I've never seen a door trim come off that easy. And it does have roof damage up here. Man. Oh, look at that. I mean, we'll just have to see what it goes for, you know, calculate all the damages and maybe it's still worth it. Who knows, maybe. Unfortunately guys, new cars and old cars are Capable of getting tornado damage. Look again, well, we got shingles. What if this was like in a barn and somebody, they, now it's found, you know? It, it was like a barn find oh, wow, with a little bit of damage. Look at that step. I mean, the interior looks pretty nice though. Well, not too bad. Kind of. I mean, we had an old car. A lot of work. A lot of work. Wow, guys. Power of tornadoes, that's unreal. All we can tell is the Nissan with the steering wheel. I mean, the steering wheel airbag's still good, that's crazy. I mean, that's worth like a hundred bucks, but I don't think the rest of the car is. You got a VIN number. I mean, you have no engine. 
nothing, no suspension, no wheels. Wow, wow, let's keep looking. Check out this Ford right here. It's pretty nice, but if you look closely, smash, 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 dented. Man, just messed up everywhere. Probably top to bottom all around. The inside is very nice. It smells really good, even though back glass is busted. The seats are moving. 46,000 miles on it. Man, third row seating. This thing is nice, but unfortunately a lot of work. It's probably gonna go for so much because it doesn't look bad in pictures, but in person, wow. Every, every panel, every corner has damage on it. When you think you've seen it all, how does that even, I mean, what? That is jammed in there. Wow. I know we fixed a lot of things, but there's just so much work out here. So much wreckage. Burnt snow just hits you so bad. But check this thing out. So, if you're stuck in traffic and you really need to go, I think it actually goes up and down too, though. Oh, that's the steering. This would be really good in the sand, you know? Alright guys, so this one has a bunch of roof damage, glass, the whole side. I mean, there's damage everywhere, but it's, it looks nice though. I mean, somebody has some nice wheels on it, aftermarket exhaust. It's a good looking truck, but I mean, there's damage everywhere. I don't know about these about these vehicles. How about the interior? Interior looks pretty clean pretty besides clean. the glass. But yeah, this is like all over damage for sure. What do you think, Michael? I don't know. Should we buy one? Definitely we... want to buy one, 100%. I just don't know if we're just gonna go really big and get a huge project or we're trying to find something with light damage. So far, it's hard to find anything with light damage. So there's there's a bunch of campers, a little bit of trailers, and there's looks like a toy hauler right there. Let's go check it out, Michael. Looks like the hydraulics went down for some reason. I mean, the glass looks good. Ooh, yeah, look at that. I mean, maybe it has some roof damage. Oh, great in here. Looks good, smells good. Look at this island. Wow, really sick. Yeah. Let's go check out the back of it. Maybe it's here for another reason, who knows? It is a toy hauler with an optional, you could tow something else with it. 
pretty sweet. So here's another Ram 1500. This side looks bad, but let's look at the good side. I mean, it looks like the bed has a little bit of damage. Probably scratched up, the hood has damage. But look at that. That has damage, that has damage, that has damage. I mean, what about the interior? Oh, well, interior looks clean, not too bad. You know, no airbags deployed. Seat belts are good. Pretty clean, but it looks like this whole side got damaged. But this one looks like it'd be one to fix. We'll keep a look at it on it. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure this is a Jeep. I've never, is the back of a Jeep? No, this is definitely the back of the Jeep. There's a trailer hitch. Look at that. That took a licking. Wow. Wow, I mean, and the crazy part is there's another one right next to it. So maybe they were parked next to each other? Who knows? But they took a pretty good hit. This one and this one. I don't even know what kind of Jeep that is. Wrangler or something. This one's interior is a little bit better. But still, that's a lot of damage. Definitely not fixable. a tornado or a flood i mean honestly it smells pretty good inside but you know back windshield's busted overall it looks really good i mean doesn't have that much body damage around but it's not bad see if it starts how many miles do we have it only has sixteen thousand miles on it wow it's a pretty basic truck though i would say for the, it's a 2021 rim but these so, shifters are like manual little screen yeah it's diesel it's a diesel that's all that matters let's keep looking organizing things and I really like it so far but let's keep looking all right guys so we got a 2019 Ram Longhorn Laramie it's got a little bit of side damage a little bit of roof damage uh, looks like this headlight has a little bit of water in it. Dang, it's a flood. Yeah, look at that. It says flood on the hood. Flood, tornado. This thing is messed up. underneath very muddy very muddy but i mean it just looks like that one side had the real damage this side looks pretty this good. side's not bad compared to all the other ones we've seen being destroyed so 
Okay, I mean, still got to do a full paint job all around, but pretty sweet. Let's just check out under the hood. Oh wow! Yay! I guess it was maybe sideways in water or something. Yeah, it must have like gone into a ditch or something. I don't know. From the oil. Off the oil. Wow. I don't know, Michael, this looks like way too much damage. You know, at the same time, I'm like, these are worth a lot of money, though. Worth a lot of money, and if it's a rare edition. I don't want to give it. It's so noisy, and there's a bunch of damage on it. It's a huge project. But if we could get this back on the road, and then save it from the scrapyard, man, imagine saving this thing. That would be a crazy project for sure. I don't know, for some reason, I kind of like it. It's a lot of work, but. Let's keep looking. So many of your bumpers are flying around already. guys so we checked out a lot of new builds for the channel we checked out a lot of stuff that we definitely wouldn't buy and stuff we would buy so the auction is about to start you know we came all the way up here we want to we don't want to go home empty-handed so let's play the auction and uh, hopefully we're gonna win something and you guys have to stay tuned till next video to see what we bought but we're gonna definitely buy something so thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time